What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Rich, joined by my man, Ray GQ, for some NBA prop plays over on Prize Picks for Tuesday, December 20th. Yesterday, Ray, we went one-on-one -on -one with the core plays. I took Zion's blocks and steals, which cashed in the first three Quick. minutes. So Quick. for everybody who was doubting that Quick. play, sometimes you got to follow the data. And as I mentioned, fade the Phoenix Suns. But maybe today we're going to go against the grain a little bit. But we'll get into that later. You talked about Luka Doncic and his over points. He decided he did not want to play in this one and got ejected in the third quarter. He might have got it, Ray. I'm not going to say it he been a wasn't sweat. getting there. It would, he had but 19. it would have been tight. It would have been a sweat. He, uh, he did not look interested in playing and got ejected in the third quarter. Yeah. We also did hit on Trey Young's assist. We talked about yep. that one as a sweater play. Unfortunately, the Luka Doncic one did not hit. And I briefly touched on Jordan Clarkson over his turnovers and Jonas Valanciunas, and both of those cash relatively easily as well. So we have some more plays for you on Prize Picks tonight. And make sure to always use that promo code WakeUp over on Prize Picks for a 100% deposit match up to $100. Ray, roll the intro and let's get into these plays right now. For all the high flying action, take a step back and relax. It's time to count that money, the NBA props, no look any further. You know what time it is, presented by Prize Picks, NBA props, let's count that money, man. All right, Ray, so where do you want to start? Do you want me to start with my play? Because yeah, it's a little go bit back off to the, the board, right? Go back to the you know turnovers. What, I've, I've just been in this turnover groove. I've been playing Jordan Clarkson every day, taking him again today, plus 110 if you want to make that bet. It's not a great data play. But we are going to Uncle Kuzma today, Ray. Mr. Kuz himself, two and a half turnovers. And Ray, um, you know, we like to follow the data, right? We like to look at the numbers and see how are these players performing. Well, Kuzma's been turned over a ton lately, frankly. We have him projected for right around 3.8. Over the last five, he's been averaging right around three. The opponent, the Phoenix Suns, like we talked about fading Zion, they actually are a good matchup. He's going to be faced up like with Mikhail Bridges. And as you can see, he's hitting five straight. And Ray, not only is it hitting five straight, he's hit in Eight straight games over two and a half turnovers. Part of that has been due to the lack of Porzingis and Beal in the lineup. They're both in the lineup tonight, but even still, I trust Kuz to go over in this one. The matchup against Bridges will be tough, so he'll be playing very tight defense on Kuzma, and I expect him to turn the ball over again tonight. Are you nervous about me taking the Kuzma play, even though he has hit an eight straight? You mentioned to me before the show, he's got to fail eventually, but will that be tonight? It's also minus 120 on the books right now. Yeah, it's the money, man. We're following it. Minus 120 on the books. Uh, Kuzma likes to do a little too much from time to time. And uh, I trust our model, man. We got a really good model right here. This is a uh, This is a good matchup as far as teams that force those turnovers. You see what we haven't projected, the 100 possession uh, data and model, it all says uh, over. The standard dev is a little, little high for the prop, right? 1.3. Uh, but I don't I don't mind it at all, man. You've been money with these turnover plays right here. And one of the things about the turnover props, you're not going to see, like, it, this isn't going to pop in a ton of models because it's plays that a lot of people just don't take. Everyone wants to take the points, the rebounds, the points, rebounds, and assists, fantasy score. Not a lot of people dive into the turnover prop. Uh, you loved it. He's hitting what eight straight. He's gone over this number. Yep. So let's yeah, ride, man. Game. Let's ride. I'm all right with it. Yeah. 38 minutes a game. So he's playing a ton on top of that. So there's just a lot of reasons why he's got a lot of opportunity. You know, he chucks it up. He likes to do a little bit too much. Like you mentioned. So I do like Kuz to hit three tonight. He's been hitting it early and he's been hitting it often. So I will definitely be riding again. And it looks like you're going back to an underplay uh -oh. tonight, right? Tell the people about Nikola Vucevic. Yes, I am. There's the undertaker sound. I'm taking the under 10 rebounds for big Vooch versus the Miami heat. This is a difficult matchup right here. The number two, most difficult matchup in our model, we've got them projected for 8.8, 38% edge to the under. Uh, you take a look at the defense for the Miami Heat versus the center position and the rebounds. 12.2 is what they're giving up to the center position on the season. Let's look at what they've done over the last uh, the last seven games. They've been a little bit better, but still a bottom team uh, at defending the boards versus the center position. Uh, you look at his game log, what he's done over his last, like, I don't know, 15 games he's gone over this a couple of times golden state loves to give it up to the bigs uh rebounding wise but minnesota the knicks eight and seven eight versus atlanta eight versus dallas we looked at the uh, starting lineup for the miami heat the only player right now that's questionable or game time decision i believe is jimmy butler so bama be in uh, no kyle lowry when no kyle lowry is out so yeah i'm okay with this data play it is juiced to the under on uh, all sportsbooks. This is DraftKings. 
minus 135. So I'm going to trust the matchup. I'm going to trust the data. I'm going to trust the fact that he has not been doing this over his last five. And our 100 possession model is saying we've got to project it for right around nine rebounds. So it's probably going to be a sweat if you do take that under. Just know you're probably going to have to hang in there for the entire game on that one, Jay. But there is a taco. We didn't talk about it before the show. So let me get Vooch up here. We're going to take an under on Vooch's, uh, oh boy, Jaron Jackson. Going to leave, leave old Jaron Jackson alone tonight. I'm not going to do it. There's the under on Vooch. We do have a, a Julius Randle taco. Uh, it says 24 points. It was at 21, but I guess the I guess the taco is over now, Jay. I guess the taco <laughs> for Julius Randle is over. Anything else you want to touch on before we get out of here? I think that's it, man. You know, there's a lot we were looking at. Um, we were we were very much contemplating Nikola Jokic, right, coming off that massive game just a few days ago, uh, playing against John Morant tonight. That's, I want to believe, right? I want to believe, but I'm just, I'm a little bit nervous. His his game log against Memphis is really good. Like it does look solid. Number one play, like you're looking at right there, is the assist for us in the model. Again, he's hit three of five, but I think the potential and upside playing against Steven Adams kind of limits him in the paint. He'll have to do a little bit more facilitating in my opinion. But if you wanted to go points and assists, it looks just as good, right? Yeah. I know you, you were thinking about it. You went with the Vooch under as the core play, but I figured we mentioned the people. It's up there in the model unless you want to bring up your boy Quentin Grimes. Yeah. And, for, for, and his fantasy score being like near the top of it, the no, model is, he's been playing It is the well. top. It is the top play overall. Quentin Grimes fantasy score, but he's getting the minutes. He's getting the minutes. That's that's what matters, right? He's getting I can't the minutes, recommend so. it to the people, Jay. I can't recommend it. Dealing with ball hog, RJ Barrett and Julius Randall and Jalen Brunson. You're talking about yep. the fourth option. I wish his threes were up. I wish his threes were up. I'd be a little more interested in his threes, but can't do it. We're not going to recommend it. Don't take it. If you do take it and it misses, don't come in here bitching and complaining in the comments about Clinton Grimes fantasy score. Kyle Kuzma, more than two and a half turnovers. I'm on board in Vooch under 10 rebounds. The underplay, that's what we're rolling with today as the core plays, Jay. So, as always, take what you like, leave what you don't. Just hit that thumbs up button out of your way, out of the building. If you tail, give prize fix hell. And if we fail, don't bail. We'll be back tomorrow with more NBA plays over here on the channel for Ray, for Jay. Good luck, good night. We're out. Peace.